Hello, my friends. Welcome to Practice with Chris. I'm Chris, and it has been a while. I've missed you all. You might notice behind me a new backdrop. My husband and I recently moved into a new home and what will become the future home of Moon Mountain Retreat. A vision that I'm, I have had for many years now is starting to be realized, and I am super excited about it. So if you're curious to learn more or want to share in my excitement, head over to practicewithchris.com and sign up for my weekly newsletter where I also share um, kind of weekly inspiration and invitations to practice more yoga and meditation. So those of you who are here to practice more yoga and meditation, um, the practice today aims at connecting us to our inner peace. Um, after this doozy of a year, right? See you later, 2016. Um, it might be it might be feeling like we need that more than ever. Yeah. So the technique that we'll be working with today is to just be present and to um, kind of move from the surface of the water that might be a little more, more turbulent or choppy and start accessing that deeper calm, that deeper quiet that exists within all of us. So if that sounds like something you want to experiment with, grab your mat or blanket, whatever you want to practice on. Make sure you can hear me all right. And let's begin. So let's begin in what's traditionally called child's pose, um, but I've been calling resting warrior um, because I think sometimes the bravest thing that we can do is rest when we need it. Um, so with that, you can bring your knees a little bit wider than your hips and then extend your arms out. For this variation, we're gonna support the forehead, which helps to settle activity up here. So you can either, um, Bring a blanket, a block, if it feels like the floor is too far away. Okay, so supporting the forehead, arms extended long, and then keep inviting the hips to relax towards your heels. As we begin here, take a few deep breaths. Start to notice the natural movement of the breath in the body. Maybe noticing on your inhales how the belly widens and expands into your legs. And on the exhale, let that counter pressure of the legs assist all of that breath out. Take a few more breaths here. Noticing what you can soften and release as you exhale. Last couple breaths, maybe feeling the breath in the back body. On your next inhale, start to follow your hands towards the left, coming into Parshva or side stretch in this resting warrior child's pose. And you can come up onto your fingertips for a little more support. And then this variation, your head will not be supported here. Start to ground that outer right hip towards the floor. Noticing the stretch along the right side of the body. And take a couple more breaths. Maybe inviting that breath into where you're feeling the stretch most. On the next inhale, start to follow your hands back to the center and then over to the other side. And again, pressing through your fingertips as you assist the outer left hip back and down. Even though the head isn't supported, let the neck be relaxed and long. And gently breathing into the stretch for a couple more rounds. On the next inhale, you can follow the hands back through the center. And we'll come back into that Resting warrior child's pose one more time here. And imagine like a turtle would draw its limbs inwards. Oftentimes this pose is also called a turtle pose or tortoise. And you can imagine starting to draw your attention a little deeper inside. 
When you're ready, you can inhale, come up onto the hands and knees, tucking your toes under. Start to press long through the index finger, and as you exhale, lift your hips up and back, coming into downward facing dog. Again, let your head be long and relaxed here, and then just feel out the pose. Listening to your body, maybe that means pedaling out the feet here, or swaying the hips side to side, releasing the head. And just taking a couple more breaths, noticing how your body feels. Never forcing the stretch here. All right, and as you're ready, start to follow your hands back on your next breath towards your feet as you come into a forward fold. So here you can bend your knees as much as you need to. It's okay if the hands aren't on the floor. It's okay here. But find a little bit more tone and lift in the low belly as you release your rib cage away from your waistline. Letting your neck, your spine, your head be long here. Maybe gazing between the legs as you stay active through the four corners of your feet. So make sure you're supporting your legs here as you release the upper body. Take a couple more breaths. Again, the exhales invite us to let go. Maybe letting go of weight in the mind or any unnecessary added commentary here. One more breath. And then on your next inhale, start to walk your hands forward. You'll be feeling the texture of the mat under the fingers. And again, engage through that index finger as you return to downward facing dog, lifting your hips up and back. On the next inhale, come on to the hands and knees, and as you exhale, step your right foot forward between your hands as we come into low lunge. If the floor feels far away, you can grab blocks or books here to raise the floor. And then from here, with the knee stacked over the ankle, take one more inhale to find a little bit more length in your spine. And as you exhale, bring your hips back, the toes can come up, as we come into this runner's lunge. Feeling the stretch in the back of your leg, keep pressing through the big toe ball mount. And on your next inhale, we'll shift forward back to that lunge. Moving dynamically with the breath, let your exhale bring the hips back. Yep. Inhaling forward. And then the next time that you exhale, you can stay in this stretch. So a couple things to note, right, again, if you need height here. And it doesn't matter if the leg is all the way straight. You're finding that place where it feels like you're stretching, but you're not forcing the stretch, right? So if you need to go a little deeper, start to drag your right heel back towards your hips. And then as that sensation becomes intense, right, just notice here and perhaps invite your breath into where you feel that stretch, finding a little more peace or relaxation in the pose. Last full breath here. And on your next inhale, you can bring that leg forward into the lunge. As you exhale, you can come back onto the hands and knees or you can lift up into downward facing dog. Take one breath wherever you are, down dog or tabletop position. And on your next inhale, come back onto the hands and knees, exhale, step that left foot forward, okay? We'll find the lunge on this side, knee stacks over ankle. Use your inhale to find a little more length in your spine. And as you exhale, lead with the hips back, coming into that runner stretch. Your inhale will bring you back into the lunge, and the exhale will bring you back. A couple more times here. Let your breath lead your movement. And then the next time that you exhale, you're welcome to stay in that runner's lunge, right? Again, Finding the stretch that feels comfortable for you. 
And you can drag that heel back to get a little bit more of a stretch. And then see if you can keep energizing through that big toe ball mount. Right? Notice if you're just waiting for this stretch to be over. And see if you can come back to the present, being with that stretch and using your breath to find a little bit more ease here. Great, now the next inhale, come back forward into your lunge. And then this time, you're welcome to step forward, coming into one more forward fold here. Release the head, again, find that tone and lift in the low belly that allows you to release your rib cage away from your waistline. Let the head go. Take one more breath. And then grounding your feet, we'll go ahead, step back into downward facing dog. On the next inhale, come on to the hands and knees, right? And then we're gonna come and sit onto a block, perhaps. Right. or a blanket, a bolster, whatever you need to support your hips here. Okay. So let me turn my direction so that I can see y'all. Okay. And then once your hips are supported here, start to lift up through your spine. We're going to keep smiling the collarbones, connecting to your breath. On the next inhale, raise the arms up overhead, keeping the gaze soft in front of you or down at the floor. As you exhale, draw your hands in front of your heart. And we'll do that a couple times. Inhaling, raising the arms up, keep the gaze soft and low. And as you exhale, heart, hands to heart center. One more time here at your own pace. And exhale, hands to heart. Interlace your fingers here, press the palms away from you. And as you exhale, hug those arm bones towards the shoulder socket. On your next inhale, raise the arms up overhead. And then again, imagine lifting, this time your ribs, up away from your waistline, similar to what we did in that forward fold. So as you find a little bit more space here, raising the arms up, notice what you can soften in your face, the tops of the shoulders, and then return home to where your breath is. On your next exhalation, release those arms down. Whew. Maybe roll them up and back and down. On your next inhale, take the arms back up overhead. And gaze in front of you or towards the floor or even inside. As you exhale, hands to heart center. Few more rounds, follow your breath, inhaling the arms up, exhaling them down. Last one here, the next time that you exhale the hands in front of your heart. Pause and then take the opposite index finger on top, should you remember, and press those palms away from you. Exhale, soften those arm bones back towards the shoulders. On the next inhale, initiate that movement with the ribs lifting up, not only in the front body, but the back body too. And then meeting yourself where you are, which might be here or here, right? And then notice what you can soften. Last couple breaths here. The next time that you exhale, release those arms down. Oof. And again, you can shrug those shoulders up, back and down, and then maybe go the opposite direction here. Lovely. From here, if you need to stretch out the backs of your legs, you can come back into a downward facing dog for a moment here, right? Or you can stretch out the legs one at a time. And just opening up the backs of the knees for a moment, right? And then from here, we're going to transition, bring the feet in front of you. You can come and sit onto height if you need to. And then we're going to bend the knees, bring the feet together. And then you can either grab onto your ankles or interlace the fingers and bring them underneath the feet. Right? So whichever one feels right for you, go for it. And then you're going to keep kissing your feet together as you start to invite the inner thighs to relax 
finding a little bit deeper stretch in the hips and groin. And then take an inhale, get a little taller, lifting your heart, smiling your collarbone. And when you're ready, exhale, keep that heart lifted as you release your chin towards your chest. Maybe notice the stretch in the back of the body along the neck. And when you're ready, you can inhale, roll that left ear towards the left shoulder, letting the chin come up. And then exhaling chin to heart. And moving to the other side, inhaling ear to shoulder, chin comes up. And then exhaling back to the center. You can go a couple more times at your own pace, following your breath here. You're also welcome to come into full neck rotations if that feels safe for your neck. And just make sure you take the time to reverse the direction. The next time you exhale chin to chest, you can pause and then inhale, energize the spine upwards, lifting the head up. And then as you exhale, you're gonna lead with your belly button as if you're trying to get your belly button towards your feet and coming to forward fold. So we're just not wanting to round the shoulders here, keeping all that space in the heart and the chest lifted. And then maybe coming a little deeper, right? Finding where you are in the stretch and inviting the breath to where it needs it. Last couple breaths here. And when you're ready, we'll inhale, come up through the center. Exhale, close those knees, and then you're going to start to make your way onto your back. Okay, so You can start to lower down. If you need support here, you can bring a blanket roll or a bolster behind your knees. Um, we're going to get set up for kind of a final relaxation, so make sure that you are comfortable. Okay. So as we come down, I'll take the time to bring your legs a little wider here. And just relaxing your legs, letting the toes relax. You can interlace the fingers behind your neck and let the spine get a little longer as you kind of crawl your rib cage away from your waistline and set your head back down. Okay. Then bend your elbows and place your hands on your stomach. If it's comfortable, you can close down your eyes. And then start to follow the breath back inwards, coming back to noticing the movement of your breath, this time in relationship to your hands. So on the inhale, maybe noticing the stomach expand into your palms. And then on the exhale, Noticing the abdomen drawing inward away from your hands. You can continue to watch and notice this gentle rise and fall of your breath on your belly. Keeping your hands where they are if it's helpful. Otherwise, Keep your elbows where they are. Release your hands back to the floor with the palms face up. And as we move into final resting pose, Shavasana. Let go of controlling your body in any way here, including your breath. and let the whole body get heavy as it settles into the support of the earth. Softening your eyes away from your eyelids. And turning that inner gaze back to the movement of the breath either at your belly or wherever else it is feelable to you.
softening your tongue away from your teeth. And softening your skin. As you gently meditate on the rise and fall of your breath, allowing each cycle of breath to draw you deeper inwards. Letting each exhalation be a reminder to release and let go. And letting each exhale be an invitation to come back home. Reconnecting to the place of peace and a constant calm beneath the surface. Feel free to stay here longer if you'd like. Otherwise, you can gently deepen your breath. Returning your awareness to the surface of the body. Perhaps feeling the support under your body. And as you're ready, bending your elbows one at a time, bringing the palms back to your belly if they're not there already. Reconnecting to the movement of the breath here. And you can take your time to bend your knees one at a time, and perhaps feeling the support or the texture of your mat under your feet. And then if you'd like, you can hug your knees towards your chest, giving yourself a gentle hug as you continue to practice caring for yourself allowing any gentle movement that might feel appropriate. Maybe rocking from side to side or forward and back. And eventually rolling off to one side. And pausing for a breath here. And then gently turn the chest towards the floor. Using your hands, your arms to lift you up as you let your head come up last. If it's comfortable, you can keep the eyes closed down or softly gaze down at one point on the floor. And just take your time to gently arrive in a comfortable seated position. Letting the hips, your sit bones soften and ground into the support of a floor, blanket or block. And again, simultaneously, as you stay grounded, finding a little lift up through the heart, up through the spine. And then give yourself these last few moments, checking back in with how it feels to be present, alive, 
in your body. Remembering that we can always return to the place of peace and calm that's always within us and beneath the surface by simply slowing down, consciously connecting to our breath, and following it deeper inside. If you'd like, you can bring the palms together in front of your heart. And when you're ready, keeping your heart lifted, you're welcome to surrender the head. And bowing to the essence of yoga union within you. And take your time when you're ready to release your hands down and slowly bringing your head upright and gently opening your eyes. All right, my friends, my hopefully more peaceful friends, thank you so much for taking time to practice for yourself, right? to care for yourself, and to practice with me. I have to disclaim here for a moment that don't worry if you don't feel totally connected to that inner peace. It's called a practice for a reason. Um, but if you have any concerns, questions, um, observations that you'd like to share, I always love hearing from you. So feel free to leave comments below. You can also email me. Um, and if you're enjoying uh, practicing with me, then go ahead, subscribe, um, sign up for my newsletter. Um, lots more coming in 2017. See you later 2016. Um, and I look forward to that. So till next time, namaste.